Hello, hello, welcome, welcome to day 53 of our Bible in a Year Challenge. My name is Sandra. I'm going to be your host for today. We are committed to reading our Bibles in a year with just less than 20 minutes daily with time. Yes, you heard me right. Just less than 20 minutes daily with time. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Let us know what the Lord is doing in your life through this challenge. We're excited to have you here. Let's get started. Old Testament NIV version, Exodus 31, 1 to 18. Bezalel and Oholiab. Then the Lord said to Moses, See, I have chosen Bezalel, son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. And I have filled him with the Spirit of God, with wisdom and understanding, with knowledge and with all kinds of skills, to make artistic designs for work in gold, silver, and bronze to cut and set stones, to work in wood, and to engage in all kinds of crafts. Moreover, I have appointed Oholiab, son of Ahisamak, of the tribe of Dan, to help him. Also, I have given ability to all the skilled workers to make everything I have commanded you, the tent of meeting, the ark of the covenant law with the atonement cover on it, and all the other furnishings of the tent the table and its articles, the pure gold lampstand and all its accessories, the altar of incense, the altar of burnt offering and all its utensils, the basin with its stand and also the woven garments, both the sacred garments of Aaron, the priest and the garments for his sons when they serve as priests and the anointing oil and fragrant incense for the holy place. They are to make them just, I com just as I commanded you. The Sabbath. Then the Lord said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, You must obey my Sabbaths. This will be a sign between me and you and for the generations to come. So you may know that I am the Lord who makes you holy. Observe the Sabbath because it is holy to you. Anyone who desecrates it is to be put to death. Those who do any work on that day must be cut off from their people. For six days, Work is to be done, but the seventh day is a day of Sabbath rest, holy to the Lord. Whoever does any work on the Sabbath day is to be put to death. The Israelites are to observe the Sabbath, celebrating it for the generations to come as a lasting covenant. It will be a sign between me and the Israelites forever. For in six days, the Lord made the heavens and the earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. When the Lord finished speaking to Moses on Mount Sinai, he gave him the two tablets of the covenant law, the tablets of stone inscribed by the finger of God. Exodus 32, 1 to 35, the golden calf. When the people saw that Moses was so long in coming down from the mountain, they gathered around Aaron and said, Come, make us gods, we will go before us. As for this fellow Moses who brought us up out of Egypt, we don't know what has happened to him. Aaron answered them, Take off the gold earrings that your wives, your sons, and your daughters are wearing, and bring them to me. So all the people took off their earrings and brought them to Aaron. He took what they handed him and made it into an idol cast in the shape of a calf, fashioning it with a tool. Then they said, These are your gods, Israel, who brought you up out of Egypt. When Aaron saw this, he built an altar in front of the calf and announced, Tomorrow there will be a festival to the Lord. So the next day, the people rose early and sacrificed burnt offerings and presented fellowship offerings. Afterward, they sat down to eat and drink and got up to indulge in rivalry. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go down because your people whom you brought out of Egypt have become corrupt. They have been quick to turn away from what I commanded them and have made themselves an idol cast in the shape of a calf. They have bowed down to it and sacrificed to it and have said, These are your gods, Israel, who brought you up out of Egypt. Exodus 
I have seen these people, the Lord said to Moses, and they are a stiff necked people. Now leave me alone so that my anger may burn against them and that I may destroy them. Then I will make you into a great nation. But Moses sought the favor of the Lord, his God. Lord, he said, why should your anger burn against your people, whom you brought out of Egypt with great power and a mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians say it was with an evil intent that he brought them out to kill them in the mountains and to wipe them off the face of the earth? Turn from your fierce anger, relent and do not bring disaster on your people. Remember your servants, Abraham, Isaac and Israel, to whom you swore by your own self. I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and I will give your descendants all this land. I promised them and it will be their inheritance forever. Then the Lord relented and did not bring on his people the disaster he had threatened. Moses turned and went down to the mountain with the two tablets of the covenant law in his hands. They were inscribed on both sides, front and back. The tablets were the work of God. The writing was the writing of God engraved on the tablets. When Joshua heard the noise of the people shouting, he said to Moses, there is the sound of war in the camp. Moses replied, it is not the sound of victory. It is not the sound of defeat. It is the sound of singing that I hear. When Moses approached the camp and saw the calf and the dancing, his anger burned and he threw the tablets out of his hands, breaking them to pieces at the foot of the mountain. And he took the calf to the, the people had made and burnt it in the fire. Then he ground it to powder, scattered it on the water, and made the Israelites drink it. He said to Aaron, What did these people do to you, that you led them into such great sin? Do not be angry, my lord, Aaron answered. You know how prone these people are to evil, they said to me. Make us gods who will go before us. As for this fellow Moses who brought us up out of Egypt, we don't know what has happened to him. So I told them, whoever has any gold jewelry, take it up. Then they gave me the gold and I threw it into the fire and out came this calf. Moses saw that the people were running wild and that Aaron had let them get out of control and so become a laughing stock to their enemies. So he stood at the entrance to the camp and said, whoever is for the Lord, come to me. And all the Levites rallied to him. Then he said to them, this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says, each man's trap of sword to his side, go back and forth through the camp from one end to the other, each killing his brother and friend and neighbor. The Levites did as Moses commanded. And that day about 3000 of the people died. Then Moses said, you have been set apart to the Lord today for you were against your own sons and brothers. And he has blessed you this day. The next day, Moses said to the people, you have committed a great sin, but now I will go up to the Lord. Perhaps I can make atonement for your sin. So Moses went back to the Lord and said, oh, what a great sin these people have committed. They have made themselves, <clears throat> excuse me. They have made themselves gods of gold, but now please forgive their sin. But if not, then blot me out of the book you have written. The Lord replied to Moses, whoever has sinned against me, I will blot out of my book. Now go, lead the people to the place I spoke of, and my angel will go before you. However, when the time comes for me to punish, I will punish them for their sin. And the Lord struck the people with a plague because of what they did with the calf Aaron had made. Exodus 33, 1 to 6. Then the Lord said to Moses, Leave this place, you and the people you brought up out of Egypt, and go up to the land I promised on oath to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying, I will give it to your descendants. I will send an angel before you and drive out the Canaanites, Amorites, Hittites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites. 
go up to the land flowing with milk and honey, but I will not go with you because you are a stiff necked people and I might destroy you on the way. When the people heard these distressing words, they began to mourn and no one put on any ornament for the Lord had said to Moses, tell the Israelites, you are a stiff necked people. If I were to go with you, even for a moment, I might destroy you. Now take off your ornament and I will decide what to do with you. So the Israelites stripped off their ornament at Mount Horeb. New Testament, NIV version, Mark 6, 30 to 56. Jesus feeds the 5,000. The apostles gathered around Jesus and repented and reported to him all they had done and taught. Then because so many people were coming and going that they did not even have a chance to eat, he said to them, come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. So they went away by themselves in a boat to a solitary place. But many who saw them leaving recognized them and ran on foot from all the towns and got there ahead of them. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching them many things. By this time, it was late in the day, so his disciples came to him. This is a remote place, they said, and it's already very late. Send the people away so that they can go to the surrounding countryside and villages and buy themselves something to eat. But he answered, you give them something to eat. They said to him, that would take more than half a year's wages. Are we to go and spend that much on bread and give it to them to eat? How many loaves do you have? He asked. Go and see. When they found out, they said, five and two fish. Then Jesus directed them to have all the people sit down in groups on the ground on the green grass. So they sat down in groups of hundreds and fifties, taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to his disciples to distribute to the people. He also divided the two fish among them all. They all ate and were satisfied. And the disciples picked up 12 basketfuls of broken pieces of bread and fish. The number of the men who had eaten was 5,000. Jesus walks on the water. Immediately, Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to Bethsaida, where while he dismissed the crowd. After leaving them, he went up on the mountainside to pray. Later that night, the boat was in the middle of the lake and he was alone on land. He saw the disciples training at the oars because the wind was against them. Shortly before dawn, he went out to them, walking on the lake. He was about to pass by them, but when they saw him walking on the lake, they thought it, he was a ghost. They cried out because they all saw him and were terrified. Immediately, he spoke to them and said, take courage. It is I. Don't be afraid. Then he climbed into the boat with them and the wind died down. They were completely amazed, for they had not understood about the loaves. Their hearts were hardened. When they had crossed over, they landed at Gennesaret and anchored there. As soon as they got out of the boat, people recognized Jesus. They ran throughout that whole region and carried the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. And wherever he went, into villages, towns, or countryside, they placed the sick in the marketplaces they begged him to let them touch even the edge of his cloak and all who touched it were healed hallelujah psalms and proverbs psalm 25 verse 1 to 7 of david in you lord my god i put my trust i trust in you do not let me be put to shame nor let my enemies triumph over me. No one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame, but shame will come on those who are treacherous without cause. 
Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Remember, Lord, your great mercy and love, for they are from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. According to your love, remember me, for you, Lord, are good. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. Amazing. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Please, if you're here and you would like to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, please go ahead and say this prayer after me, believing with all your heart as you repeat. Say, Lord Jesus, I confess my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life. And help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations if you said that prayer. Please go ahead and send us a message. Let us know you gave your life to Christ and someone is going to reach out to you and pray with you. And help you in your new faith walk. Wow, wow, wow. It's been an amazing day today. I hope you were blessed. I was extremely blessed. Glory to God. Please go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't yet done so. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Let us know what the Lord is doing in your life. How has these days been? walking through God's word, reading and fellowshipping through the power of the Holy Ghost. Please let us know. We're always excited reading from you. Give us positive feedback. Hallelujah. Today was an amazing day and tomorrow promises to be another great day. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Bye.